Hi, Daniel. This is Lillian, and I wrote you this little poem. I hope you like it. Daniel, no one could make you up, even if they tried. You've got such imagination and strength inside. Perception, purpose, and humor in you abide. Lucky are those with you alive. How would I describe Daniel? Daniel is larger than life. Everybody knows Daniel and everybody loves him. 
One word I would use to describe Daniel is absolutely amazing, fantastical. I know it's not a real word, but it's the only word that comes to mind because he's an inspirational guy that really touches everybody's heart that he meets. And I love him. He's changed me for the better. And I am happy to be part of his wonderful foundation. If I could describe Daniel in one word, it would be positive because he's the most upbeat, positive person I have ever met. If I could describe Daniel in one word, it would be pure because everything about Daniel is honest and real. Daniel is just extraordinary. He has been through so much, yet he continues to give of himself to others, supports others, and has created an extraordinary legacy through Daniel's Music Foundation. If I could describe Daniel in one word, the word would be radiance. Every time you see Daniel, he just radiates love and hope and compassion to everybody around him. So if I had to use one word to describe Daniel, it would be loving. Daniel is the most loving person I know. Optimistic. Daniel always sees the glass half full. Happy. Happy and... And I'm friendly. And friendly. Yeah. One word, caring. Because regardless of what Daniel goes through, he always takes the time to see how you are. Because he really cares. Uh, inspirational and uh, I would say that because uh, because Daniel and his family have turned the situation which most people would have just uh, would have been uh, an impossible situation to go forward from and have and have done so much good for so many people and it's just it's I'm so happy to have even a slight part of it involved with it it's, it's, it's just fantastic Wow, I've heard that quite a bit from Daniel over the years. I think that means that his foundation and the Yankees have done some really good things together. So, wow. 341 days, but who's counting? Your sense of humor is amazing, Daniel, and the fact that you can joke about this with such grace and such, such wonderful positive attitude is just a testament to who you are. Danny's favorite expression of mine is, I'm Dan the man from Manhattan. My favorite expression is um, oftentimes when Daniel says to me, don't pity me for what I can't do, but celebrate what I can do. My favorite expression of Daniel's is when he ends every phone conversation with, I love you. Knowing Daniel and his family, um, make me believe again and again that miracles do happen. When Daniel impacted me in any way, the greatest thing in life is to have friends. And I've been privileged to call Daniel and the Trush family a friend for nearly 25 years. It's been a source of pride every time we get together. How has Daniel impacted my life? He's made it very clear how important every minute is, every step is, and just accept every day and have fun. Daniel teaches us the power of music to bring joy to people and to bring people together. What has Daniel taught me? I think it is to look up to people who are 25 years younger than me. My favorite Dan story. We're at the hospital Easter Sunday. We're all around Dan's bed. Dan had been in a coma for 30 days, but who's counting? Ken was sitting on the bed, and as usual, he was talking. Dan reached out and gave him a kick. That was the first time he moved. My favorite story of Daniel is when Ken asked Daniel how they should measure the success of DMF. Daniel said by the number of smiles they make, and that's how the smile meter was created. My favorite Daniel story? at a gym event a couple of years ago, celebrating the publication of a book about Daniel, a member of the audience asked, who would Daniel like to play him in the movies? And he said, George Clooney. My favorite Dan story? Well, that would have to be when he woke up from the coma and told me I was his favorite uncle. I know that Daniel loves music, so I don't think he would mind me sharing this story with you. Daniel was at our office having a dental cleaning 
And what truly amazed me is that he not only knew the word to every song that came on, but he was actually able to sing along to every single song while getting a cleaning. Priceless. When Dan was in a coma, his dad used to sing to him every single day. And one of the first things Dan said when he woke up out of the coma was, Hey, Dad, don't you know any other songs? This is my favorite Daniel story forever. <laughs> come here. I love to go to parties, make friends, and sing, and dance, and movie, fun, happy. Um, the voice class. Well, making new friends, coming every week and learning different songs and different themes. And my favorite part is, you know, just hanging out and enjoying myself with Daniel and my friends that come. Daniel. Well, um, I think my favorite part of uh, Daniel's music is that I really, I really like, I really like all, all, all my classes here and 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 the instructors here are, are are very nice to me and they they're the best. My favorite part is the school actually being here and he making it happen and Nancy having him. I'm here because of him and I've learned so much. I have a lot of gratitude. I care so much for Daniel. I love Daniel. Oh my gosh, where would I be Wednesdays if it wasn't for him? I live pink. Uh, I mostly like to come to sing and dance and I like my teacher. My favorite part of Daniel Music School is Song composition class. I love that class. That's my favorite class. Participating, you know, just being a part of um, whatever musical activities uh, occur here in this institution, and I love it. It's great to be able to be a part of something. About Daniel's music is that um, I love the way we have a lot of great bands here that I perform in, and I'm really good at guitar, so I thought about becoming a great musician and becoming a great singer is really what I, I love doing and it's, it's the best. I love doing it all the time. Hey Daniel, I would really like to thank you for strengthen, strengthening me as a person because when I look at you with your beautiful, sweet, loving self and family, I just feel this universal love that I can't even explain. So just thank you for everything that you and your family and the community of Daniels Music Foundation has blessed Umi and I with. I was uh, thank you for all the support. I got a DMF. Well, I would like to thank Daniel for just being himself, that special, wonderful person that he is, and for giving us this wonderful place to come to every week and to let this shy girl give her a forum that she can come out of her shell and sing and do what she loves. I have to thank Daniel for all um, of the classes that I have. Um, I have really enjoyed every single class, the, the teachers, all the teachers. I have fun, I feel happy, I feel um, excited. Um, and I met Daniel, he is my wonderful friend. Daniel for giving me the opportunity to learn music uh, and uh, for no fee. I mean, it's, it's obviously a tremendous uh, um, opportunity uh, to be able to learn music uh, with such great teachers and 
and instructors and that it's, it's just uh, amazing and I'm, I'm truly, truly grateful. I'd like to thank Danny for his humor and for providing for people like myself with uh, disabilities some place to come and conversate and have fun and exercise all my talents. Thank you for everything inside your heart. I would thank Daniel for the greatest school in the world. I've never seen a school like this. Keep it up. Keep us coming. We love it. This is the party in this school I ever seen in my life. I want to say thank you for everyone, including me. And Daniel, you're being very helpful to all of us, and we love you so much.